सर नमस्कार नमस्कार सर Good afternoon to one and all. Welcome back to the first session. We have an eminent personality, Dr. S. S. V. N. Sharma, as the first resource person for our FDP. Dr. Sharma is a retired professor, Department of Computer Science, Kakatiya University, Warangal, and he is now associated with the Bagdevi Group of Institutions. Since November 2010, as Dean Academics and Placement, he has a wide experience of totally 49 years of experience. He held different positions as a course coordinator for MCA program during 93-98. He was a Dean of Science, Kakatiya University, head Department of Informatics and Department of Mathematics, Kakatiya University. Chairman, Board of Studies of Computer Science for Kakatiya University, and so on. He has been had his exp uh, expertise in different different fields and different domains at various positions, and he is actively involved in preparing the BCA syllabus for Andhra Pradesh State Council Higher Education, and he was a member for MSc Information Security Committee for Andhra Pradesh uh, State Council of Higher Education. And he is also the coordinator for automation of the LASET in Kakatiya University, and conducted various national conferences at Kakatiya University. And he was a doctoral committee member for various resource scholars in VIT University. And he has been delivered so many sessions as a keynote speaker at different conferences. In his entire 35 years of research experience, he has produced nine PhD scholars. And only in computer science alone, he has published more than 50 papers. And I am very glad that uh, Dr. Sharma is here. He is, uh, uh, I can say that uh, I am his uh, one of his disciple, and always I get his blessings. Uh, with this brief introduction, I introduce, uh, I invite Dr. Sharma. to give his first lecture on our overview of artificial intelligence yes. sir sir you can now share the slides answer your voice is uh, not audible
యా ఇప్పుడు హలో రైట్ ఐమ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ సారీ దట్ దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ విచ్ హెస్ బీన్ రిజాల్వ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐమ్ ఇండీడ్ వెరీ మచ్ థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ టు మిస్టర్ చంద్రమూరి ఫర్ ఇన్వైటింగ్ మీ టు దిస్ సెషన్ already some time is lost i will uh, try to uh, reconnect it the uh, government of india the cbse particularly has taken a wise decision regarding introducing the concepts of artificial intelligence at undergraduate level uh, at uh, uh, what is known as uh, cbse level now i will start my lecture with a simple example which every one of us has has experienced in our life when a child is born the child is has entered into a new atmosphere quite new atmosphere of, from the mother's her stomach she comes out and uh, she experiences a new atmosphere and all of us know that on the first day the child doesn't recognize mother with the help of so many gestures by mother whenever the child cries mother takes her into her lap and with that warmness she feeds her and after some days the child recognizes the mother and shows gestures this is the first truth in this world mother is the first truth in this world and every truth is knowledge so the first knowledge every human being experiences is by recognizing his or her mother from there the knowledge acquisition starts for the child later this knowledge which he has or she has experienced that knowledge gives links to other knowledge what is the other knowledge the other knowledge is recognizing his father recognizing the other family members every other knowledge is linked to the first knowledge that is knowledge of mother and slowly the learning process starts as the learning process starts the background knowledge is useful to acquire new knowledge with the help of some simple reasoning part or with the help of agents i am using the word agents i will come to this aspect later in my lecture first agent is in her knowledge acquisition is mother original agents are the child eyes nose tongue hands ears they are all they scan they scan the information and uh, after the information is scanned that information is being analyzed so mother acts as a agent for the child uh, to acquire new knowledge along with other agents of the child body they are uh, you know all the five uh, indriyas if i if i i is nose etc so there is a linking process and this linking process goes on expanding and the child starts learning with the help of the previous knowledge and the new knowledge is acquired and this knowledge goes on expanding if 
the child uses reasoning power proper. This example, whenever I give a lecture on artificial intelligence, I take this as example because this forms a basis for learning artificial intelligence. So in this process of child growth, what are the things we find? First thing is knowledge acquisition. Second thing is knowledge storage. Third thing is knowledge inference. Fourth thing is knowledge inheritance. Fifth, like this, if I go on talking, I use the word knowledge. And this knowledge grows with the help of reasoning power. And this reasoning links to other knowledge. So knowledge goes on expanding. If the boy also knows, or the child also knows reasoning power, and therefore we call that the child is becoming intelligent. So intelligence, and let me, in my view, intelligence means knowledge plus reasoning. Knowledge without reasoning is not intelligent. Reasoning without knowledge is not also intelligence. Now, the question is, how do we define knowledge? That is most important. Again, at this point, I would again take the help of the child. The child first day after taking milk from his mother, the child will not recognize immediately. Whenever she cries, the mother takes her. This experiment goes on repeatedly for several times. And every time the result is same. Whenever she cries or whenever she is in trouble, this, this figure, this mother, the great divine mother, helps the child. And therefore, the experiment is conducted n times. n times, mother is coming to his rescue. Therefore, n by n probability, that is one certain event. That means we conduct experiments and every time when we get the same result, we would get some belief and that the belief is continued again with experiment that becomes faith and that faith again experimented, it turns to be truth or knowledge. So, Generally, we acquire knowledge from different uh, sources. Our teacher is our a best agent. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, don't uh, misunderstand me if I am using the word agent. Uh, it is a scientific term, that's all. It's a technical term I'm using. So teacher, when we believe teacher, then only we take the knowledge from. If we don't have belief on teacher, whatever he teaches, we will not grasp. Even if we grasp, we will not retain it. So belief is the foundation. And that belief and fact turns as the knowledge. Now, there is a difference between data and the knowledge. I'm not talking about it. knowledge. It is proved beyond doubt. And that proof gives us a certain what is known as a standard stating that this is truth and that truth is our knowledge. So here uh, to the members who are present here, uh, those teachers, the uh, valuable teachers who are going to teach in future, they must understand that the knowledge acquired is unless the belief comes into picture, the knowledge acquired does not, it will not retain. Maybe in some cases it may be retained. This, with this uh, uh, topic, I am going to talk about this uh, subject of artificial intelligence. Uh, let me uh, take this, uh, what is known as uh, 
just a minute. I would like to share uh, one Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. Right. Now, in this lecture, as far as possible, time permits, I would like to uh, talk about the following terms, about the following the terms. What is artificial intelligence? And uh, what are the programs that behave externally like humans, computational of, models of human thought, programs that operate internally, and all these things uh, let me discuss. Before that, as a person, we have also got scanners. The scanners are our eyes, our nose, touch, taste, hearing, etc. Similarly, in this artificial intelligence, there is a term called agents. The, they, those agents, that means suppose you take robot, there is a scanner that collects the information, gathers the information about the inter environment, and then, with the help of the reasoning power, it take action. Uh, we have agents, naturally. Human being has natural agents. So for artificial intelligent machines, we need to fix up the agents. Now, AI is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially computer programs. And the objective is to construct machines or to inculcate the culture of thinking just like that of human being. So we will have to make a machine to think like a machine, like, like a human being. Under any circumstances, a artificial intelligence machine cannot match natural intelligence human being. Thus, it is beyond uh, expectation that a uh, robot can excel a human being. In the field of its own domain, the robot may act better than human being because a, a human being and a human being cannot concentrate on the things like a robot. We have so many external forces acting upon us, external reactions and other things, and our uh, attention gets uh, disturbed. Whereas an artificial intelligent machine, whatever program is given, it goes on executing it uh, if the conditions are satisfied. So in this regard, just now I discussed with you about what is a fact, what is a belief, what is truth, what is knowledge. Now, what is knowledge plus reason? These two, these things, I just touched because uh, very uh, one hour, one and a half hour is not sufficient to discuss about all these things. But I thought I would lay some foundations for learning artificial intelligence uh, subject with the help of these important. So first of all, the student must be given an idea about how you arrive at a fact. What is a belief? You know, when the mathematics, when you start uh, proving a theorem in plain geometry, we have some hypothesis. Based on upon that hypothesis, we start, we go on starting the, uh, doing the, uh, uh, proving the theorem. So from there, you can explain that there are some facts and based upon that facts, the other things with the help of reasoning power, we come to a conclusion and that conclusion is your theorem and that theorem is knowledge because that is a proved, proved several times in whatever way we talk, it is being proved. So these things, if you can keep in your mind, then everything 
in physics or in chemistry or in mathematics whatever you are teaching they all come into this frame this frame will give you an idea that in the process of acquiring knowledge there are some blocks which we have to cross and those blocks are experiments facts beliefs and then uh, reasoning reasoning means from now onwards instead of reasoning i will be using the word set of rules these rules will be useful to make or to come to a conclusion and acquire knowledge now a can be used to make an intelligent decision as compared to human beings provided under equally likely conditions i will tell you what are those equally likely conditions uh, and uh, the usefulness of artificial intelligence is uh, we can it can be used to analyze data it can be used to uh, maintain security and privacy and to create experience expert systems and capability to explain and giving advice to others to speed up the work like this you can uh, give several reasons now just for one or two minutes i'll just give a brief history of uh, human uh, this artificial intelligence only one example i will take and then rest i will leave off the first gentleman who has proved that a machine can work like a human being under a given condition and he is none other than alan turing and on his name turing machine has come turing machine was highly influential in those days and later he developed theories and he has coined this term artificial intelligence now uh, let me give you what is the what is artificial intelligence immediate question is when there is artificial intelligence there must be natural intelligence thus when i said that artificial there must be natural natural intelligence is our intelligence human being you are we are all having natural intelligence whereas what is artificial intelligence means we form the rules we feed the data and we give all the rules and regulations and then in that domain the domain is fixed domain is fixed and the information is given regarding the domain and all the information in that domain is clearly given and rules are being uh, clearly explained and you have to act with the help of those rules in that domain this is what a machine is being given and the machine does the work as efficiently as human being that's why turing has come to a conclusion that machines can also behave like human beings under some conditions but not all conditions but not just like human be human be oh there are several things several informations Inform, uh, informatic uh, things are given several scientists they tried and then 2005 latest work a robot from stanford university one darpa challenge it to draw auto autonomously for 131 miles across an unrehearsed desert trail so like this uh, several 2000 ibm question answering system watson defeated the two greatest jeopardy champions brad ratter and kane jennings in a jeopardy all these things are there but i am not uh, going to explain them because it is not uh, uh, appropriate time nowadays uh, faster computers have come the computing system has grown there are several uh, latest things have come and uh, now artificial intelligence from artificial intelligence a new term has been coined that is called machine learning 
a machine can also learn given certain conditions. And if from this machine learning, another subject has also evolved, that is a deep learning, and then uh, several other subjects are coming as a component from this artificial intelligence. Now, the most sought after subjects are artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and all these things. All these are all same from artificial intelligence only. Now, let me uh, now give a brief idea about why artificial intelligence. And uh, if there is, if we need artificial intelligence, what is exactly the artificial intelligence components are? Now, first thing, why we, we use machines? We use machines for problem solving. Sir, if you listen carefully, this, uh, what is called topic of problem solving, immediately, uh, while teaching this subject uh, to uh, students of 9th or 10th or 11, you can on your own create some fundamentals to teach them. Now, first thing is, we use machines for problem solving. First question. What is problem? Actually, for solving a problem, the first thing is we must know what is the problem. If the problem is correctly assessed or problem is correctly analyzed, then 90% of the solution is reached. The remaining thing is a ritual. It means Problem must be properly understood and that problem along with reasoning we go on solving it. Now for this purpose, let me give you a small what is called, uh, what is a problem and what is uh, problem space and what is the searching. This first component I will let me talk. Now, first thing is, if a problem is not properly defined, uh, best example is in physics or in mathematics. Suppose you are you are solving, you are trying to prove a theorem. The theorem must be properly explained. That means that's why we use the word hypothesis. What do you mean by hypothesis? What is there in that theorem? What is exactly already existing in that theorem that we write in hypothesis? So, a problem after reading theorem, we will come to hypothesis. If the theorem itself is not properly understood, you will not reach to the hypothesis. So, a problem must be defined accurately including detailed specifications and what constitutes their suitable solution. So definition of a problem is the first step. All of you, gentlemen, all of you while going in your, to your classroom, always you will be trying to first uh, give an idea about the problem and uh, give the ba basic things which Actually, must you must the student must know before solving that problem. All these things you are doing it. Now the lecture notes which has been supplied by uh, Dr. Chandramoli, which is being given by the uh, CBSC, the people I have seen those that lecture notes, and in that also they have also given maximum concentration on problem definition. Second thing. The problem must be scrutinized carefully. And while scrutinizing the problem carefully, naturally some futures you will see. When you put uh, uh, some cross section of a, a botanical, what is called a piece of uh, uh, stem or some other thing under microscope, what is that you will see? When you see very carefully, when you magnify the glass, 
the futures are automatically they will be seen by your naked eye and what is the central effect and what is that uh, small what is called link in that problem which will drive us to solve the problem this concept we need to put into the minds of the students next uh, what is the exact background knowledge is required for solving that problem so that background knowledge you will put in hypothesis just sir plain geometry is the best subject in on the on this uh, theory of uh, artificial intelligence with the help of plain geometry we can explain this artificial intelligence in a deep manner plain geometry is a subject wherein you will you will be knowing what exactly is a program is what exactly is the steps to be followed to solve a problem how exactly the steps are to be enumerated all those things in plain geometry if a student doesn't read plain geometry properly i don't think he will be having a programmable approach when you see the theorem every bit of it every line of that uh, theorem it would be very carefully linked uh, to the next step and the previous step. this is what needed in artificial intelligence next is uh, you need to have solving choose solving techniques also additional techniques for the problem to solve a problem so problem solving is a process of generating solutions from, from observed data there is some data from that observed data you are drawing some conclusions now here comes the effect of artificial intelligence that means if you can understand the problem properly maybe the solution at that moment it may not be possible for you but in a course of time you could able to gather some more information to solve that problem if you cannot uh, gather that information suppose there is now in this pandemic situation corona is there now the scientist must know exactly what the problem is that problem if they know correctly the problem then the uh, vaccine will come so the problem must be properly understood it takes some time but it will naturally help you to know it that means a problem is characterized by a set of goals there will be set of objects objects means uh, for example if i want to solve a problem i need some paper pen etc and if i am solving a differential equation i need to know about what is a derivative before that i must know about trigonometry etc all those things they all form an objects and set of operations let me use the word instead of operations set of rules so when you feed intelligence into a robot the robot must know how to analyze a problem if it doesn't know how to analyze a problem it cannot give you a proper solution so all of you while uh, at uh, uh, dealing with this subject you must concentrate upon the word problem though it looks very uh, simple the, the problem is problem sir that is nothing if you say like that problem solving will never stick to the mind of a student now exactly at this moment when i am trying to solve a problem i get so many other problems a solution always may lead to another problem a solution may be a final result or a solution may lead to other problems so for solving a problem you may require you may require to do several problems sub problems and if you solve those all those sub problems you will reach to the, the final solution now here comes 
a wonderful word that word is called problem space truly speaking uh, truly speaking if i uh, want to give a give, a, give an example suppose uh, you are somebody is teaching chemistry or uh, or somebody is teaching physics some kinetic energy or some other uh, potential energy or newton's laws of motion some problem when you are teaching that particular problem you require other problems which i have to supplement them augment those that problem and immediately at that moment you will form a small domain and when you go to a class in that domain you start to teach in that domain there will be many sub problems and slowly one by one when you solve these sub problems the last problem is solved example you want to solve a, a you want to differentiate for example or integrate integrate secant square x tan x dx immediately you will use the substitution method for tan x is equal to t uh, tan x when differentiate becomes secant square x dx is equal to dt and therefore this becomes t dt i think i am uh, i am talking in sense that means to solve this integration problem you took the help of trigonometry problem and you took the help of derivatives so for this problem immediately you form a, a what is called a fixed domain and in that domain there are other so many sub problems if you solve those sub problems one by one step by step you will reach to a solution so for that is called problem space for every problem there will be a problem space a student who is who is studying 11th class or 9th class he has a problem space he has to study one problem first subject second subject third third subject, reading first subject he has to undergo so many classes and so many exams all those things you you just write in a stepwise manner they become a big what is called domain and in that domain the uh, uh, one by one step by step you have to follow and then finally he reaches to the solution that is passing of ninth class or 10th class this is known as problem space that means in a problem space there will be sub solution sub problems which are related to that problem only non related things we will not put for example you take a robot and you have um, you have employed a, you, you have fixed a robot uh, to uh, find out whether anybody is coming with any explosives in his packet it will have a domain space and that domain space contains the information about the explosive space and the other things it will not recognize only if there are explosives it will recognize and it will send it has its own domain and in that domain it goes on finding out here comes a most important thing to reach to a solution every human being is searching for the path the path is i want to solve a problem i want to make a chapati so first of all what i am doing i am searching for the wheat powder then i will search for any other thing and water etc etc one by one i will be searching if i maybe you may not 100% agree with me but i would use one word that every one of us in every moment we are searching for something because intelligent person always will be searching we are searching 
when you a teacher sitting in his room he searches for his pen he searches for something if he wants to go to a class he will search he, he will search in, in his brain uh, what class i have to teach and what subject i have to teach searching searching is motto of an intelligent person so what artificial intelligent machines are doing they are when problem is there they are searching for the sub solutions which lead to the other solution so searching and when you give a problem to a student what does he, he what he does he will search in his brain whether this problem needs or whether this problem has been taught with my, by my team, uh, professor or not if he has taught what he has taught and he goes on searching in his brain and suppose he requires some additional things additional knowledge which is required he will search otherwise he will search in the books a housewife in, in her kitchen she searches an employee he brings the money uh, is paid salary on first and then he goes on searching for the products for the purchasing so everything is searching so in a problem space we are all searching we are naturally intelligent therefore we have extra powers for an artificial intelligence there are fixed powers fixed domain fixed domain space now coming back uh, i am just i given you one idea about what is reasoning and problem solving actually uh, on this topic itself we can speak for hours together but uh, this is not uh, a uh, proper time i think because our time is is also a constraint for us so first of all to be intelligent you need you need to acquire knowledge second thing most important thing in artificial intelligence how do you represent a knowledge that is very important how do you represent it now you i think uh, the notes which your uh, chandramouli has sent me uh, i have seen professor chandramouli has sent me i have just seen a very wonderful uh, exercise has been uh, done by the people there at cbsc level actually all these things they are uh, knowledge acquisition they have given their other words but all are same after acquiring acquiring the knowledge how to represent it now as a human being we are naturally intelligent therefore when we go to class we use our hands our face blackboard color pencils etc etc and lcd presentations and we we have ample choices of representing the knowledge and some knowledge suppose some uh, some child is very beautiful how do you say she is very beautiful because as a natural intelligent man you have seen several other ch children out of them when you compared she looks to be more attractive therefore we say that the child is most beautiful here our natural intelligence is being used to uh, analyze the problem now when we come down to artificial intelligence now for expressing that we have our tone we by by our uh, expression we say she is very beautiful we use our eyes we use our face feelings we use our hands body language etc etc so we are representing the knowledge the knowledge that the child is beautiful we are uh, trying to uh, express it we are reasoning it we are trying to represent it. now when it comes to artificial intelligence you have to you have to feed it to a machine and then machine has to uh, understand it the knowledge there must be some technique for representing this knowledge now here the most important thing is what is knowledge and what is the importance of knowledge and how do you estimate the knowledge and what is exactly the knowledge uh, does i will come down to that point next is planning intelligent agents should be able to set goals and make plans to achieve those goals 
What do you mean by intelligent agents? Intelligent agent means uh, the uh, robot, or the scanners, etc., etc., which are fixed to that robot. They they will be useful. Now, with your eyes, you are setting goals. If you want to read a book, you will adjust it. You will see it properly. When there, there is no light, you will put on lights, etc., etc. Because your eye is an agent uh, to see, to acquire knowledge. Similarly, and then you will plan, you will sit in a chair and you will put it in a, a comfortable position. Similarly, there must be planning also. And they should be able to visualize the future and then make predictions about their actions taken. If I put my uh, book here, I can read it properly. And in future, I may not get proper eyesight. So these ideas, sir, if you listen my lecture carefully, I am trying to concentrate on the notes supplied by your uh, uh, the learned people. And in that notes, simple, simple experiments they have done. And they have asked you to pay it. They have asked to, in the next lecture, we will show that uh, notes which has been given to you. And then I will ex ex explain how it can be explained in a classroom using the words artificial, the tasty words artificial intelligence. Now, this is the third aspect. These are all components in artificial intelligence. Next is learning. It is the study of the computer algorithms which improve automatically through experiences. Every time I'm using the word here computer, because everybody knows about computer as an AI, uh, because we feed data, we feed programs, we, feed, we write rules and ask the computer to solve the problem over that is, but is what artificial, it will only solve that problem it will only see in that domain only. That domain is fixed. Goals are fixed. Data is fixed. Rules are fixed. And then you are asked to, uh, and the computer does the solution for that particular problem in a proper manner. So learning with the help of the existing knowledge, how do you acquire new knowledge? What are the process? What is called machine? What is what is not done? That is why new subject has evolved after artificial intelligence. These are all new buzzwords nowadays. Machine learning. Earlier it was only uh, artificial intelligence, but nowadays people are talking about machine learning. Next step of artificial is a part of artificial. Machine learns on its own with the help of the existing knowledge. Ah, actually, the general definition of machine learning will, if time permits, will come down to it. Next is the most important thing, the component NLP, that is natural language processing. To read and understand human language. All of you know, nowadays, the mobile phones, before the mobile phones, uh, you can just view in Amazon, you can give a command with your uh, this thing and then immediately it uh, uh, responds to you. Alexa machine, all of you know about it. There are all artificial intelligence. So natural languages are being followed. And uh, many mobiles, uh, they also fingerprints, uh, with fingerprints they open and uh, patterns they open. These are all pattern matching that is called. All these things are components. This processing enables machine to read and understand human language by processing the human language into machine. Next is perception. Now there are uh, uh, an input. Your eyes are input. Uh, they take input. Eyes take input and also give output. You can read from your eyes the mind of that person, and eyes can take the input also. It acts as IO device, input and output. Your nose, it smells, and it also breathes out, and bad smell also comes out. So it also is an input output, mouth input output, and input output. It gives 
and it, with this you can give some other output also uh, say hello etc etc your complete body is an input output device it takes input it gives output. now perception means ability of the machine to use input from sensors microphones wireless signals and other things for understanding different aspects of the world. so now i think you can understand if there, is, there are no eyes your vision vision perception has gone <coughs> if your skin becomes uh, um, see the touch uh, sense has gone then you cannot uh, feel the touch sense from from you with your hand or any other things if your ears are not working hearing perception goes on. similarly in artificial intelligence perception is also intelligence next speech nowadays speech recognition is there natural language generation is there virtual agency machine learning biometrics biometrics really great these things and artificial intelligence now any question if anybody asks what are the areas where artificial intelligence has in, not entered i i use the word not enter as entered everywhere generally uh, all of us must know that theory of uh, refusal theory of refutation is the best thing i i think uh, to be precise let me give you an example in uh, most of the plane geometry theorems the first sentence starts if this is not true so you say that to prove that these two triangles are similar while solving that problem you will start with negation negative you will say that if this is not true at the end you will get a result which is not a truth that means you may get a result that uh, a triangle will have uh, more than 180 degrees or 2 plus 3 is 7 like this another some results which are not reasonable then you say that the result is not the the result which we have uh, taken they must be true so here the most important thing is yeah, the areas where the artificial intelligence i am not really enumerated here enlisted here there are many other areas even in teaching learning everywhere uh, this uh, artificial intelligence has entered in agriculture auto autonomous vehicles race uh, vehicles are unmanned uh, aeroplanes without drivers unmanned cars etc etc all those things uh, if i am uh, not giving you more information please think that because of the time constraint i am not giving so now this is uh, these are some uh, advantages there are some disadvantages these disadvantages are not to be considered very seriously the only thing is uh, the cost factor we have to construct so much of research has to be done uh, so much of uh, machines have to be constructed build rebuild repair maintenance every time and see that proper um, proper uh, facilities are given to that machines and then uh, most important thing is robots can replace human this is a perception this is one idea that people may think that in future robots uh, robots can come and uh, replace humans and take off their jobs it is not correct it is not correct because at any moment facilities always when you give a facility facilities demand more facilities earlier when computers were uh, in the first beginning stages in india i have seen because i was following from right from 1970s there was a strike banking union people they they went on strike do not introduce computers in banks our jobs will go now computers have been introduced 
ATM systems have come, internet banking has come. Even then, we are not happy. We want some more things. Therefore, never stop the scientific innovations. Don't say that a student who is doing a calculator he is using. Let him use a calculator. In that gap of time, instead of doing on a paper, he is using calculator. Otherwise, some other fellow will do and he will grab the situation. In that time, the remaining time must be properly utilized. Then the scientific use of the machines will be worth. It a, can cause unemployment. It is not at all correct. They will create employment, more employment, maintenance will be there, more programs have to be written. How in a limited and very countable uh, fields that it has entered, there is a lot of exercise, a lot of research has to be done, uh, still more on this topic and more things. I think for another four, five hundred, six hundred, one thousand years, AI can be extended. Second is, AI will make human dependent on it, which will lead to trust on their brains. This is one disadvantage, it is not a disadvantage. And if given in wrong hands, machine may lead to destruction. Basically, if a boy is properly not cared by a parent, the boy will be will spoil. If a teacher in a classroom, if a student is not behaving properly, and if the teacher doesn't care, the student may get uh, distracted. This is there even in human beings also. In similar cases, you can talk in uh, what is called uh, uh, machine also. Advances are error free. No errors will be there. Intelligence robots have explored the world the, uh, in oceans. Majority in the deep sea, robots are going and they are sending the results and the uh, nature is being explored, analyzed and uh, how they, they are exploring the worlds. And you know, from thousands of kilometers, we are able to scan the figures. Now in uh, uh, what is called police investigation, the CC cameras, Intelligent CC cameras have come with a small lead. Majority of the uh, violent acts and everything can be explored and it can be solved. A helping hand for humans in lab laborious work. It also helps in making best decisions and the smart cards, etc. etc. See, if I if you talk go on talking about this in your classroom, the students will give more example than a teacher. Because they are now exposed. They are now exposed uh, into this world. So this is uh, exactly the meaning of this one. Now let me, as I promised, I would uh, like to uh, give a, what is called a preliminary idea about how to teach this subject in uh, your classes. Now, the most important thing is, Artificial intelligence is used for solving a problem. That is, first of all, let us convince ourselves. After convincing ourselves, then we let us go to students. Yes, naturally, it to solve problems. And nowadays, dishwashers have come, intelligent washing machines have come. We are <laughs> recently one gentleman was asking. I was asking a gentleman. Uh, I have asked a washer man who is washing our clothes in my house. I said, uh, Do you think that by purchasing washing machine in my house, you lost your job in my house? Sir. The gentleman told me, very interesting. Yes, somebody is disturbing my. Somebody is, is mute, sir. And then that gentleman told me, he said, Sir. I am a washerman. My father was a washerman, and uh, your father was a, 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 a other uh, uh, land. Now, are you in the same profession? He asked, and he says, "Your position is very good. Don't you expect that my, I also reach your position?" 
Do you want me always to be a washerman? He asked one question. Second, sir, nowadays the facilities are not there. Human labor is not also available. Now we are doing other works. And never, never think that these machines will grab the opportunities of others. They will create jobs, no doubt about it. Now, while teaching to a student, first thing, you must first tell to a student that the end of a human being, that means death is only the point where a person must stop learning, stop acquiring knowledge. There is no limit. The limit is right from your birth. On the day of birth, you started acquiring knowledge. And on the date of your death, you will end in acquiring knowledge. That's why in Sanskrit, there is a famous saying, Ko Napanditaha, who is not a learned man, Panditam Manyaha Napanditaha. The person who feels that I have already reached to a stage, he is only the person who is not learned. Now, if you see your problems in physics, chemistry, botany, geology or anyone, for solving a problem, first of all, goal must be there. Then second is, you must form what is exactly needed. Third thing is, what is what are the requirements you require for solving this problem? Fourth thing is, first of all, formulate the problem in a proper fashion. You must write that problem in a fashion where, while reading that problem, you must understand what is the problem. Now, uh, recently I was uh, uh, listening to a small discussion in TV. Many people are going uh, to a particular uh, ward and they are coming, everybody is promising for some other, some facilities, but those people are not satisfied because None has understood their problem properly. They are repairing different things. A doctor has to first understand the problem of a patient. Now, I am at this point, I am trying to tell you one thing. All of you are teachers, if I am, if I am correct. Every teacher is a doctor. A doctor. MBBS man or MD man is a doctor who checks the behavior, the uh, body of a person and he cures his diseases. We are the doctors to cure and give the knowledge as a dose of medicine to a student to prosper in this life. For this one, we have to diagnose a student, we have to prescribe proper lecture to a student, we have to check what exactly whether he is growing or not. If you just analyze and compare what a doctor does and what a teacher does, the working methodology is same. First of all, he will, a patient comes, doctor checks. First of all, a teacher, a student comes, he will analyze. So if you go on talking like that, we are also doctors. Now here, that's why we must teach to a student how to formulate a problem. And then in a problem, there is one step, where's the important step. That step is known as initial step. Where to start a problem? Where to start a problem? If you do not know where to start a problem, and if you start a problem at some other point, you may not lead to a solution, or you may lead to a solution very late. That means time is lost. Or you may hang up in middle, and you never uh, come out of it. You are, you are in a mess. So initial state is very, very important. Even for your classroom, Every day you will you going to a class is a problem. For that one, you will formulate your problem. And then you will initiate the by initiating the lecture, you will first know 
today from where which point i have to start so that i can bring earlier lecture and also give an idea about the future lecture to a student what must be the initiates next is what are the actions what are the possible actions what are the rules actions means what are the rules and what is the transitions from from one state to another state will have to go from one state to another state which state next state i have to estimate i have to predict and i have to found find out next is goal test every time we must check whether i have properly done the work or not whether i am in the correct stage or not whether i am going in a correct state or not and every time is it my final solution if it is not final solution what would be my next step sir are you not able to uh, come down to your lectures now immediately with my brief introduction are you not in a position to estimate uh, and you can say that sir the same policy we are following in our class the same policy we are also following in artificial it is not a new subject gentlemen it is it is our day to day routine life in a proper disciplined manner is artificial so it is a goal test we do then path which path we have to cross uh, uh, traverse to reach the goal generally there may be several paths to reach the goal but one path may be very long in distance one path may be a very expensive one path may be more time consuming one path like this out of them best path which is not time consuming with less expenditure with less distance if you can find out that path to that problem please think about it now you are uh, uh, the the supplied notes consists of not new things sir the same thing we are teaching to a btech student and mtech student whatever slide i am now uh, showing to you the same slide i will show to my students there also and this slide i am able to talk so freely now because i have also come across all this in my stage of 50 years this is my 50th year of experience in these 50 years 50 years i have crossed all these stages so here you should never complain that a is a new subject first of all a is not a new subject it is a subject already we are following and it is with us so the optimal solution we have to uh, follow and then there are some problems i don't want to take uh, to that uh, distance uh, only one thing uh, just uh, one idea i will uh, give you uh, what is the eight puzzle just one or two minutes only i will give it because these examples you can teach you in classrooms now for a, x plus y is equal to 2 say for example x plus y is equal to 2. what are the solutions I want tell me what are the solution? Zero plus two is zero. Two plus zero is zero. Half plus one and half is zero. One and half plus half is zero. Uh, one four one one fourth plus three fourth is zero. Like this, uh, there are several answers. Uh, uh, take out all those possible answers you take. That is your problem space. out of them at that moment you require a particular solution at that moment you may require 0 plus 2 only x value 0 and y value 2 for that situation x must be 0 and y must be 2 that means your solution is there among several solutions out of them the best solution all of you you are teaching linear programming problems feasible solutions optimal solutions etc etc so there is no new thing uh, uh, you need that uh, fear that this artificial intelligence is an 
technical subject. It is being taught at BTEC and MTEC level. And BTEC artificial intelligence has come. Therefore, how that it is to be introduced at tenth level? Really, I am surprised what made the people to bring it to that level. And uh, um, say hats off to those people who brought this idea uh, and with a beautiful uh, what is called writing. And they are trying to teach to eighth, ninth, and tenth other students. It's a great. Thing. Now, eight kids problem. This is a beautiful problem. There are eight rows and eight columns. Eight queens are to be adjusted. You know, in chess, a queen can kill another another uh, any piece if it is horizontally it is present, or vertically present, or diagonally present. Therefore, you have to keep all the queens in such a that they have such a position. That queen should not kill other queen. Any queen should not kill, kill other queen. Just like uh, what is that Robic uh, this thing uh, puzzle. There are several solutions for this solution, this problem. Like this, you have to plan. We have to plan these solutions, and then we have to understand. It. Now. Now, oh, I would, uh, uh, Chandramoli, what is the time limit for us? Sir, can you tell me what is the time limit, sir? And, uh, Dr. Chandramoli, okay, I will be talking when uh, Chandramoli says, please stop, sir, then only I will stop. Now, what are the problem characteristics? Sir, I am you. I am taking extensively on the first basic principles only because you are using these basic principles in your uh, uh, lectures in classrooms. You are not using higher level artificial intelligence under any circumstances. Now, what are the every problem has characteristics? At least, sir, I am very hungry. Uh, does it have any characteristic? Yes. You are hungry. Hungerness is uh, several characteristics. Is it because you have not, you, uh, you didn't eat your breakfast, or are you really hungry, or you are uh, you have you took your uh, lunch, but it is three o'clock. You thought you wanted to have some uh, some what is called menu, some other uh, little things to eat. But, yeah, do the problem will have some characteristics. You may say, I don't want anything, even though I am hungry, a little small things will be more than enough. I don't want food now. You can say, every problem has a characteristic. It has a representation. It has different aspects of representation and explanation. In order to choose the most appropriate method for a particular problem, it is necessary that you must understand it. Along several dimensions, you must think. Several dimensions, you must. Think. So, therefore, in your classroom also, you will give several problems to the students and ask him to write an artificial intelligence step. There, you must galvanize the students' minds to understand the problem and its characteristics and think properly learn from that one and then predict the future and then do what exactly is needed. Second thing, most important thing, you must have and must look to a problem in such a way that if this problem decomposable into sub problems, some problems can be decomposed, some problems cannot be decomposed. Decomposed means divided into uh, parts. Uh, each part, small part, it will be very easy for us to solve that small part. After solving all these small problems, you just bring it the complete problem. Now, all of you, your house, you are, uh, what is called, you are a cooking process. In cooking process, what are you doing? You are dividing the complete vegetables into pieces so that it cooks properly. Similarly, a problem 
If it can be decomposable, if it cannot be decomposable, you can't do anything. If it is uh, not decomposable, it is a minute small atomic part. So then there can be solutions to be ignored and undone. If the problem universally predictable, that means if this problem can be done, and if this is done, it is always true for all conditions. Is a good solution to the problem. Uh, so a problem is obvious without comparing to possible solutions. Most of the possible solutions you will get by comparing. For example, he is a very good student. When you when you say he is a good student, you are comparing with other students and you are telling that he is a good student. A student has got gold medal. How he has got that gold medal? Because he has done, he has fared well than other students. Comparison. Every step, in solving at every step, you must check is this end of the problem or it will lead to other problems. Large amount is required or not. These are the things which you require to know about it. And that's why for every problem, there must be a production system. Sir, I am not uh, uh, talking very deeply into the subject. I am just trying to give you uh, some pro aspects from the artificial intelligence I am taking. Because these concepts only you have used, your people have used in developing uh, the books, uh, the PDFs which uh, uh, Professor uh, Chandramoli has sent to me. Uh, therefore, I am taking, uh, uh, based upon that only I am uh, trying to impart my lecture. There are set of production rules for every problem. What do you mean by production rules? For example, uh, there is uh, a body is uh, being displaced. There is a production rule. Why it is displaced? Some force is applied, therefore it is displaced. So for every, you need to know what are the production rules are there. There is a right hand side and there is a left hand side. Right hand side is the, some action being performed. A is some action. A action is taken, therefore B position has come. When you go to classroom, you will get excellent. Every teacher of physics, chemistry, body, geology, even literature a teacher also can make use of these concepts and develop artificial intelligence techniques in this class. Next, you must form a database for solving that problem. Database means appropriate information which is needed to solve. So this is, and then there must be a strategy. Strategy means, sir, all of you are following strategy in teaching. Uh, a step is being uh, uh, laid and you know what is the next step that is your strategy that is called control strategy it specifies order in which the rules will be compared to the database of rules and a way of resolving the conflicts that arise and there must be a rule applier that means who has to, which make, checks the capability of the rule by matching the contents of the state. Every time when a rule is applied, you must check whether the contents have reached or not, whether you are at the correct place or not. For this one, you will use if then statements. I think in your uh, uh, lecture notes, uh, which is supplied, uh, if then statements are there. If this work is done, then what did the next result? That is called if then state. So these are all some what is called important uh, aspects which we need to know about it. I hope uh, uh, Chandramoliyar, are you on the in, on the line? Chandramoliyar. Chandramoliyar, unable to. No? Can anybody talk? 
Yes, sir. We are hearing you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are hearing. What is the time limit, madam? Somebody is. Actually, it's three fifteen, sir. Three fifteen. Two to three fifteen to your schedule, sir. I have crossed my limits, madam. That's okay, sir. That's <laughs> interesting. I don't know. It's very interesting, uh, sir. If you want me to stop, I can stop. It's not a problem. Uh, but uh, uh, I would be very happy if I can receive some uh, queries from the participants. Sir. sir, I just want to ask one thing: like artificial intelligence through this. Uh, can we like solve all the mathematical problems which are there yeah, in yeah, our right. for school come students? Come on, tell me. You 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 give me any mathematical problem. Like no, if Anuradha I. Anuradha Sharma, is it, madam? Yeah, yeah. Anuradha Sharma here. Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. like, uh, uh, if I say it's a simple quadratic, then TK we can do by substitution and putting some values and all, and we get the solution. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A big, a quadratic yeah. also integration also, but my point is like when I am teaching maths to my students. Okay, yeah. my main purpose was coming to this is that how I can integrate my subject maths with this AI because uh, th yeah. that please, that is please. required. Right. Hmm. Very good, very good, very good question. <laughs> Now I think you are uh, you have been sent sent this uh, uh, you are with these notes has been sent to you by. No, uh, sir. I didn't you? receive. No, I didn't receive this, sir. Maybe Notes. I have got it. Uh, huh. Maybe Chandramouli sir has sent it to me. But okay, you will sir. See it. Actually, uh, as a teacher, all of us are. What are that we are doing? We are. Uh, we are. Uh, one, in a one word, we are in a way motivating these students. Right? Okay. Yes. Let's yes. Please, uh, hmm. Let us interact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Students. Yeah, yeah. We are yeah. motivating the students. Number yes, sir. Mm. Number two is we are shortcuts to a student. How mm. we are shortcuts? A student, even nowadays, open university has come. Everybody can pass mm. with the help of open university. Then yes. why a student must come to a, a school? Because we give them shortcuts mm. instead of reading all the books. We hmm. have already read the book, and we are giving them shortcuts. Am I correct, madam? Yeah, yeah. little bit okay. we can say. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. In Second. formal education, we can like confining the course to one textbook. We are going through it, and then we are focusing on those topics only. Yeah, 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 yeah. Therefore, now the question is, uh, when you talk about integration, first hmm. of all, when you tell to a student, this is a problem. What is that you will say? You will ask the student to analyze the problem. Am I correct? Okay. Yes, sir. Well, yes. while analyzing mm. the problem, number mm. first thing is he must have an idea about trigonometry. Am I correct? Yes, Then sir. He mm. must know about differentiation, right? Yes, he, yes, sir. Third thing, mm. he must know what is exact integration, and mm. his domain you are fixing. A domain is fixed. Problem space is fixed. Mm. And okay. then you will give the mm. rules, set of rules, and other things. And mm -hmm. then, while talking about the integration, do you allow him to talk about geography or any other thing? No. Mm. I mean, for integration, uh, like we um, particularly you, you for mm -hmm. you don't need geography. You don't need geography. Mm. Right, okay. That means a boundary is uh, laid out, and no. then you have given him the problem characteristics. By talking about integration, we are discussing about the problem. And then, please, 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 somebody is crossed. Somebody is crossed off. Yeah, I think somebody is crossed off. Please, 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 After meeting, you can speak. We are busy election. Yeah. Uh, then you will give the set the goals, and you will ask him to use trigonometry and other things. Yeah. This is nothing but a way of problem solving. We see the first step of artificial intelligence, wherein the problem must be properly defined, knowledge must be acquired. Not, not, Knowledge which is not required to the domain is to be removed. All these things you will be teaching in the class. 
yeah thank you sir thank you so much anandala <laughs> sharma somebody விஜயலட்சுமி மேடம் ஐ எம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு Your audible is not, uh, audio is not at all perfect with the election. Just divide it by instant. Vijay Lakshmi Madam, your audio is not good. Hello. Uh, yes, Susmita Basu, please. Yeah, any question? Any question? Hello. Yeah, Susmita Basu. very interesting sir very informative we have not received any notes sir impressive yes sir we share ppt with us thanks for such a information any more questions if yeah. there are no questions uh, we will continue it in uh, uh, tomorrow uh, such a sri sri kar yeah. Yeah, yeah please uh, uh, uh what can you say about what is known as the higher order thinking skills So what is that higher order thinking skills higher order thinking skills oh right right, right. higher order thought. thinking skills right good yeah. good uh, yeah any that is you want that is it pardon you want uh, linking of higher order thinking with artificial intelligence right. Right. exactly exactly huh? correct yes okay right good good sir sir after you acquire knowledge immediately after please sir you be on the line such as try you be on the line yeah i am Are on you? the line but i am keeping myself mute uh, no don't mute okay, don't okay, mute. i will not uh, mute myself don't mute please respond please don't okay, mute okay thank you yeah yeah hmm. when you learn some knowledge yeah will you keep quiet there no <laughs> why uh i would like to express it i would like to link it to other things right very yeah. good not only that not only that uh -huh. out of out of inquisitiveness out of interest also you will try to probe others that is also there yeah. because already you are uh, with the knowledge you yeah. have the twin capacity uh -huh. so when knowledge is acquired yeah next thing is from in your mind you get so many ideas of thinking reasoning yeah. higher level thinking etc etc uh -huh. if your knowledge acquisition is in a proper manner your reasoning is in a proper manner and your steps are in a proper manner right. therefore uh -huh. when intelligence is properly planned intelligence right. means knowledge plus engineering reasoning is properly right. planned okay yeah automatically mm -hmm. knowledge will acquire more knowledge how it acquires by mm -hmm. thinking by reason or yeah. thinking means reasoning only right. when you are thinking means you are trying to reason is it not correct. so sir correct correct that's right i, I understand yes thank yeah. you thank you thank you any more question by any participant sir any more question if there are no questions i will uh, i will say uh, chandramodi sir has to uh, come and uh, wind up the session uh, yes sir i am here sir i am online only uh, yeah yeah chandramodi sir it is very interesting i never expected that uh, so many people are really coming some murganadan is wants to talk murganadan please any question you want to give uh, yes sir yes sir please what is mean by searching in ai searching yeah good 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 uh, sir so like when you have acquired you knowledge and you to my knowledge is linked to other knowledge okay so naturally when you want to solve a problem you have to go to your knowledge base 
and check whether this solution is existing in that knowledge base or not that means what is that you are doing sir uh, pardon sir one second one second sir suppose a problem is given already yeah. you have a knowledge base okay immediately what is that you will give when a problem is given sir i am just going for getting solution not that sir you will yeah. search in your knowledge base apply it and try to search sir. apply and search not apply sir you will first search with the help of rules and that that means apply means uh, uh, with the set of rules you will be apply can we, can, uh, can we say searching is a processing no it is searching is not it's a, it's the application of rules it's not a application of rules is not a process a set of rules you search and those that tomorrow in tomorrow's class i will come down sir hmm. you are searching you are applying some rules to see that the uh, the required goal is reached or not so searching is a method of reaching to the solution and searching follows some rules mm -hmm. okay. okay sir okay 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 Uh, thank you, thank you. what i mean what i am thinking searching yeah. is related to processing that's what i am thinking uh, no sir no sir so you may use the words processing working all those things they are all the local words which we use generally but uh, uh, the exact um, uh, the scientific uh, the technical term here is it is the set of rules okay Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And next, so, sir. If there are no further queries, uh, sir, let you us... can. Uh, Chandra Mohan, can you give them my number? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, uh, you there? Uh, my 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 mobile number is nine eight four eight zero nine eight four eight zero seven two six double one. I just uh, type it here. Are they? I have typed it. Sir. Type it in the chat box, sir. Just type uh, it in the chat box. I will give my uh, email also, sir. They can reach me uh, for any uh, doubts or any other queries if they want more queries. Another more dear, I think I have done. Uh, Mr. Nag, what picture did you send? The notes which have been sent to me, has it not been sent to the participants? No, sir. No, I'll share it after this. I, I think if you sh share it now only, uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. They will be really. It will be useful for you. Sure, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, if there are no further queries, let us thank Dr. Sharma, sir. for his wonderful interactive and informative session and uh, we meet again with uh, sharma uh, sharma sir tomorrow for an another session on, that is on how to integrate ai in our regular subjects thank you very much sir for your session and for your valuable time actually and i must uh, i must thank you i must thank all of you because at this age uh, somebody has asked me to give a lecture I am giving lectures, but uh, I am giving lectures to the teachers, uh, the basic uh, below undergraduate. By our luck uh, to interact with those. Then now, Chandra Pandey, I, I go to the government schools. Uh, uh, last year also, I was going to each and every government school, and I am lecturing on tenth class subjects, ninth class subjects. It's my passion, and you have uh, really, uh, actually, you have given me a chance. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. I, I, I thought that your expertise is required for all our participants here. who are the, the teachers from various schools in throughout the india because we have participants 230 participants uh, covering excellent right from excellent. jammu kashmir nagaland meghalaya up to deep kerala okay thank you very much sir for your uh, time and for your session and uh, we'll have your session again tomorrow evening afternoon
please take the feedback and they send it to me sir sure sir sure sir, sir your work feedback work. is visible in your chat box itself sir workfully yeah. sir <laughs> the chat box i been to i am uh, now i am seeing it thank you yeah workful name please sir sharma sir workful name please vm sharma yes yes i i will type it here i will type it here right thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you thank you sir i request the participants to stay on the line so that the next speaker is already joined the meeting and uh, with a formal uh, introduction to him we will start the session